because it is 2013 and I've worked hard all my life, but still I found myself working a job that I loved, but it wasn't full time. So I got a second job and between the two of them it still wasn't 40 hours but rent, utilities, food, all of that were still full-time expenses. And it's the only relief there is. It, it helps so that you can eat. You can, you can pay the electric bill and still eat. And um, I have a lot of special needs as far as my diet goes. I have allergies. And money does not go very far. I have actually gotten things that are gluten-free here at the food bank. Not that that is my source for gluten-free items, but again, every little bit helps so that the money I do spend, I can spend on things that I need to eat. Well, I'm actually disabled now and I no longer work, but what I love to do is garden and farming. And I was working at, am I allowed to say the name? Um, sure. I was working at Best Feeds, loving what I did, but uh, as it gets later in the year, it's no longer full time. And so I took a second job, but that still wasn't enough. Uh, now that I'm disabled, that's a fixed amount and it comes at the first of the month, so by the end of the month, any little bit helps. And I know that's a familiar story. Uh, the truth is people, myself included, come here because we just can't make it without it. Uh, it's actually been years, but not steady. Uh, when times, when things were going very well, you can get overtime in the garden business in the spring. There, first of all, I didn't have the time to come, but I didn't need to. If I don't need to, I want to leave it for other people who do need it. But it's wonderful to know that it's here. So it sounds like, like you know, this isn't this isn't a dependency for you. This is more it just kind of fills the gaps, right? It, it does, and I know there are people, some even with children, that it is more a, a dependency. This ha they have to go to the food bank every month just to, just to get by. When you come here, you know, obviously it looks like they, everybody does a great job here. Um, are there are there times when you know they're they're short and they don't have much, or is it is it you know kind of a mixed bag? Of yes, what goes there on are. Back there? Especially since I do have special needs, there are days when I come and I can take it all home in one little bag. But, you know, it, it's whatever is received is such a blessing that it's still worth it. But wheat is my, one of my biggest allergies. So, uh, comparably, to buy a loaf of gluten-free bread is five something for what tastes like cardboard as opposed to sometimes you can get two loaves of regular bread for that price. So it's a lot more expensive and it's not just bread because wheat and soy, another allergy, are in so many things. You, you're forced to buy brands that cost twice as much because you need to avoid the soybean oil.